just this year, I learned to surf skate. I had never skateboarded before, and there's been a lot to learn from it. I also picked up longboarding. That is the <laughs> land paddle that I use with it. And these have got one problem, hills. I live in a very hilly area, and it can be a little intimidating for a new skater to learn how to stop. So if I'm coming down this hill on my board, I'm gaining a lot of speed, and there are these barricades here to slow people down because right here is a busy street. So if there were a better way to have control over the speed of my board so I don't wreck into these or crash into the street, that would be great. Then I heard about a skate break by Vibe Ride, and I thought that is perfect for the longboard, so I don't feel insecure about going down hills or going around curves that happen to also be downhill. I can stop comfortably. It seemed so smart. This is in no way any kind of advertisement or promotion for this product or this company, but I just really wanted to try this. So when it arrived, I proceeded to follow the directions and take apart my board. All right, now I've got all of the old hardware off and I have this handy little template shows where I'm supposed to drill. Comes with a drill bit, handy, nice and sharp, but I must provide my own drill. So I'm gonna line this up it does say to check that the bolts go through for correct alignment. And I'm drilling there. Mark my drill hole there and then remove all of this. Now I am ready to drill, and this is a little nerve-wracking. I think that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and finish from this side. Check this out. Now to carefully disassemble the beautifully pristine and pre-assembled braking system so I can install it on my board that I just put a big gaping hole in. Fortunately for me, the instructions were really clear and full of lots of pictures. Pictures are perfect for a visual person like myself. Having very little skateboarding experience, I have even less experience working on a skateboard. It's all new. Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? And finally, removing the king pen. 
which takes a little more work than I realized. And now to carefully put everything back together. And that's where those pictures in the detailed instruction manual become absolutely crucial for me. And this is the actual brake pedal that goes on top of the board and I will have to learn how to engage it. So it's a shift of the feet and this little thing will stomp down those brakes and in theory I can stop even if I'm moving down a hill. And just for my need for aesthetically pleasing matching things, I changed the wheels on the front as well. Now for a test. And it seems to work really well on solid ground, on flat ground. But the ultimate check is really a hill. So heading back to my hill, and giving it a shot. Even though I've taken that hill a few times before, that was a little rough, but with new trucks, new bushings, new wheels, not to mention a new braking system that I have to get used to all of those things with, never mind where to put my feet and how to adjust to brake, it may take a few times to get used to it and there may need to be some adjustments made. All right, giving this a try again. Yes, I did it. I think this is actually going to be the perfect solution for me. Now, if I could only figure out how to eliminate pebbles.